Now there are many different popular ways to sync audio in Adobe Premiere, but some of them are more accurate than others, and I'm going to show you today the most accurate way to sync audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you've ever seen one of these videos before, you probably know that you're supposed to do a clapping motion, and then once you get into the computer, you're just supposed to sync the audio up and bam, you're done. Well, that's one side of the story. What most people didn't, don't realize, and I didn't realize this until about six months ago, is the audio coming out of your DSLR or other video camera can be one to two full frames behind the actual video. And that's where you can probably see where problems arise. Now there are two things that you can use for this. You can either use a clapperboard, or you can use the nice easy clap. But if you do not have any of them, there's probably not a really accurate way of doing it. So rather than actually talk about how to fix this, I'm gonna jump on the computer and actually show you how to fix this. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Premiere. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is take your source file, your source video, and get it over here. In this case, we're gonna use the audio that I am actually, that I used for the beginning of this video. So I'm gonna drag this in, into the timeline, and let me zoom in just a bit, and I'm going to expand this so I can see the audio waveforms. And I usually keep it about here, so if I want to, I can adjust this, but let me undo that. Um, so then you're going to go over here and find your, nope, that's not it, and find this. Let me clear these points really quickly. Um, so then you're just going to want to drag this into uh, track two. Okay. So what we have here is I clapped right here and in my, um, for my external audio recorder, the clap is right here, right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over here and just give it a nice, uh, sort of guide area. It'll help us later. So what we're going to do is here's, here's the thing. See right here. When I go over here in the video, watch this. So it's clapped down there but the audio is over here. There is a whole frame of audio that this video is off. So if I were to sync this audio right here, it would be off. So we don't wanna do that. So this is pretty accurate, um, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna show you the really, really accurate way. So you can see when I hit plus, we can't really zoom in it anymore. So what you're going to do is hit this little button and hit show audio time units. Now what this does is this lets you zoom in basically infinitely. I don't know how far you can zoom in, but you can really zoom in. So we're going to sort of guess where this, when it hit, because this is a 30 frames per second camera and it hit presumably in between a frame. So I'm just, I'm going to say it hit right there. Okay. So now I'm going to zoom in even more to my audio and I'm going to drag my external audio and I'm going to drag it over here. This is where all the other methods fail. Okay. I'm going to drag it there just because by the time it hit the camera, it probably, yeah. So it hits there. That's pretty accurate. So now what I can do is I can zoom out and I'm going to hit, I can undo this. And now look at that difference. It's not huge, but now listen to this. Listen to how off this is now. Now there are many, do you see that? So the source audio is so off that there's an echo. Say, do you hear that? Now I can just mute this and here we go. There we go. And now listen to it. Now there are many different, and now it's perfectly synced. Now, if I had done what the other people do, the audio would have been about a frame off. But I don't want to be a frame off. I want to be zero frames off. I want to be perfectly accurate. And if it is slightly off, you can just hit show audio time units again and zoom in and slightly adjust it. And then just make sure when you're done to uncheck it and bam, there you go. Now, once you're done with this, uh, hold down alt, select this track layer the, or the source audio layer, uh, hit delete and now that is gone hit the playhead here just to make sure it stays in the same spot. Now you bring this up. Now, whoops. Now I hit C and I can use the blade tool and remove this. And now I 
uh, select both, right click, and hit link. That way, they move together, and I have perfectly synced audio. That is how you sync audio in Adobe Premiere.